what's good everybody it is your boy Jacob back here for another video and today if you cannot tell by what's in front of you I'm doing a newer more updated version on how the SAM site works I've been seeing a lot of comments on my old SAM site video when I didn't really know what I was doing I just tried explaining the new item and they basically say no electricity and do things like that but that was the time when electricity was not out so I kind of couldn't but today I'm going to get in detail on what I use the same site and how I use it and all the electricity guide for that if you guys want to have a further in-depth tutorial on like windmills and, and the best way to generate power and things like that I will make that video just put it down in the comment section below but without further ado let me get into the tutorial now I do want to explain some basics with you about the SAM site. There is a certain height that they can shoot at. It's basically they cannot shoot on the same level as they are, but they can shoot anything higher. So you see this you see this three tall one right here. I placed a wall here because they cannot shoot on this r level right here, but they can shoot anything above it. So anything above this floor is able to be shot. And it goes like that for every level they are on. It cannot shoot on the same level as it, but it can shoot anything higher. Same thing with this bottom floor level. It can't shoot anything here, but it can shoot anything up above it. Now, knowing that, you need to place these SAM turrets in your compound or in perfect spots because say you place one on the top of your five-story base, I could easily fly a helicopter over and below the turret so it doesn't shoot me and still be able to get in. I want to give you guys an example real quick. So say this is my compound wall. I take out my building plane and my hammer. And I, so say I place a SAM turret um, this height, right? Actually, we'll make it this height. We'll just leave that there. Say I place the same turret up here, right? I can easily fly in with the helicopter. If I, if you're an experienced flyer and you know how to fly the helicopter, you can easily fly right through here and then get through. Now, say you did the exact same thing. You place the wall. You did this. And say you just place it like this. You just place one symbol like that. Now this is still not going to be able to shoot right here, but they're not going to be able to fit the helicopter through these spikes and straight in. Another example, you could easily place it like this. But it's kind of like you would need to place it a little bit further back so it can shoot wide ranges. But knowing this, you need to place your SAM turrets where you want them and place them in a good location where it can shoot anything. Now to get over to the electricity part, you see here we have three ways to generate power that I use. We have the windmill, small generator, and the solar panels. Now obviously the solar panels only work during day. The small generators take low grade, a ton of low grade. And the windmills, and it just takes air, so this is the one you definitely want to use. They're a little bit more expensive, but this is the best thing you want to use to generate your power. Then you have your batteries. You have the small battery, you have the medium, and then you have the large. This one's obviously going to be able to hold more and be able to spit out more. That's recommended, but you don't have to use a battery. You don't have to use any three of these, and I'll show you why in a second. Now to power this thing, you take out one of these little cables, as I call them. It's a wire tool, but I call it a cable. You want to connect it to whatever you're powering. So you want to look around. You want to click power out. And then I'm just going to show you the way where it does it take a battery. So you take this cord as you can see on screen. And you could honestly just go like this. You could go over to your SAM site. You could go over to the back here. Look for power in. And you see how the green light just turned on. So now this is active as long as you put SAM site ammo inside of it. It's active and it can shoot whatever's above the level you put it at but now for the other way you just connect your cord into the battery right which should be power in and then you take it see it's charging up right 202 203 and things like that so it will save power and only use it when the SAM site is needing to be shot so then you just connect it where where is it at right here, right here green light turn on obviously you've got ammo in it so it is ready to go but you, obviously, like I said, you do not need the the batteries, but I mean, they're very useful. See, it's charging up the power, 214, 215. It takes a minute, but it obviously is powering. You can have a lot more windmills than that, a lot more ways to charge. That SAM side is done. Now, I do want to show you guys a way real quick. If you do not have the stuff, because obviously you're in survival and I'm on a creative server, if you do have multiple SAM sites and you do not want to make multiple windmills, one for each, 
there's a thing called the splitter and I use this a ton you basically can connect the power in so say I was instead of this and you can remove it by holding right click and it removes the cord so you take it right and you plug it into the top of a splitter now you have to remember it's splitting whatever power is going in so 53 it's splitting that into three separate power outage so I take this and I plug this one into this one right and it only says it says 52 right now but once I connect another one say I take a power out two, and I connect it to this guy it's now only saying 26 because it divides whatever power is going in here by a three into these three separate outs and with the SAM site I think it takes 25 power to power each and we'll go ahead and try that out real quick I want to make sure that I'm right when I say this let's go ahead and take this thing off here and then let's just connect the splitter one more outage into this last SAM site so we'll go ahead and connect that and you see it doesn't turn green because it's only putting in 17 these each from what I can recall each of these costs 25 per SAM site to power it so your best bet is to either put more power into here so say you get a say you get this bad boy take this windmill you connect it into the battery you take it out and you connect it into the top of the splitter right puts 33 in there and now they're all on that's why sometimes it's better to have a battery but if you can't afford it at the time or you can't get it it does not matter you can still you know work around it but yeah guys that is about it I know this video is shorter than normal but it was basically I've seen a bunch of people commenting on my old Samsung video saying electricity blah blah, blah didn't talk about it so I decided to make a new one and make this one a lot better but if you guys do want me to go in depth with electricity and tell y'all the best ways go ahead drop it down and I would definitely do that. But other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching the end. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. It motivates me to do more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.